See, babe, not only do you get to meet my partner in crime, my roomies, you get to meet my other bestie. Big dude. This is gonna Amen. happen. Amen. Amen. When I first saw Kelly, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> He's a cop from New York City with no style. Yeah, my man doesn't have no style. I'm sorry. He's sauceless. Okay. Yeah. No, we sauce need some no seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know much about Kelly, but all I know is that Molly seems to really, really like him. So as Molly's best friend, like I've seen her hurt by a lot of guys and it can trickle over into her business and to her daughters. So I'm definitely not gonna let that happen. Even if Molly didn't want me to ask questions, she knows I'm gonna ask all the questions. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Babe, it's okay, listen, Nat and I, we have a really special bond, like. Yeah, I hear it all the time. Yeah. So, is Molly like the type of girl that you would normally date? No. They don't have Southern Bells up in New York City, so her whole demeanor is different. The warm, funny, different approach, but she still has that ambition. She's a hustler. Uh huh. It caught my attention. Okay. So, do you have any kids? No. Been married before? No. When's your last, like, serious relationship? Oh, man, he already jumping in, yeah, going at the juggle already. Tap, 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 tap it in. Yeah. <laughs> last, last year. Last year? Mm -hmm. And can you tell us about it? Like, mm, what, what? Like... It reached its expiration date, and that was it. What the hell? Did Kelly really just say relationships have an expiration date? Why are you here? What are we doing? At what point in our relationship do you just be like, okay, I'm done, you're expired. Like, no one wants to hear that. I, okay, I'm 100% honest. Go ahead. Because like when I'm talking to you, like your answers are kind of like, yes, no, aha, aha, aha. I'm not gonna tell you off the back. That's yeah. not how I roll. We don't do that. We're from, from. Sorry. I get it, but like if you're meeting new people, like you don't think you can like be a little nicer. Like, yeah, like you don't gotta be like harsh, like I'm from. You know what I mean? Like, no, that's not what you, we're doing. But here. you sat down and you like, all right, so what's going on with you? Tell me I mean, everything this about is you. Like, Girl, but yes. that, it doesn't work that way. You sit back, you do your little investigation because you look like you're a PI sitting back, I mean, observe. I, I am, and yes. you go from there, and I, I'll tell you what's going on. And I have to ask, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, nobody is perfect. But see, this is how we can open it up. You're gonna tell a secret and I'll tell a secret. That's nah. It. This guy's overstepping his boundaries, asking questions that he don't need to be asking. I think Molly wants her friends to do her dirty work right now. She don't want to seem like she's the insecure individual. But I'm not willing to open up right away because it's my past. I don't need to explain to anybody. Where do you see your relationship going with Molly? I'm trying to find my companion. Have you ever been that in a relationship that deep with somebody before? I've tried, yes. I, I've had. <laughs> Clearly, Kelly's good at just being silent. So what is he not telling? I want so much for this to work. But with Louise, I had a ton of red flags. But I wear glasses a lot. And they, they come with rainbows and sparkles and stars. And I just chose to let them go. I can't do that again. <laughs>